So welcome everyone, thanks for joining us today. Today I'm Tom Cavallari, a financial planner with Tall Oaks Advisors. Welcome, Tom. Thank you, thank you for having me. You bet, I appreciate your taking time. Hey, so would you just share a little bit about your background, how you came to get in the uh, financial uh, advising business? Uh, yes, um, I had a uh, previous career. I uh, had a baseball card store here in town for uh, 13 years, family business, and then, um, I was getting married and uh, thought I had, my wife wanted me to get a real job. <laughs> so um, I went around and I always dabbled in the stock market. So I enjoyed that a lot. So um, I'm like, yeah, I can, you know, get more resources, do a little better in the stock market research and also help people in the same time. So um, that's what I did. I became a financial advisor almost 20 years ago, uh, wow. 20 years in July. And I really enjoy it. I work with people and we get uh, different goals they're working on and help achieve education, retirement, um, different things like that. So it's really rewardful, rewarding, sorry. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure it is. Say, I'm curious, you know, we've had this uh, COVID-19 scare, a lot of folks, you know, having to stay home. It's really disrupted a lot of folks' lives. And I know a lot of people are nervous. Uh, there's been a lot of volatility in the stock market. What changes have you seen? What steps are you taking personally to protect your finances? And what sort of advice are you giving to your clients? Well, uh, I changed my title. So now I'm calling myself a behavioral investment counselor. <laughs> Good for you. So I got that from a, an author, Nick Murray, uh, a few years ago. And it really is helping people protect themselves from themselves. So I think that's really good. You know, I have people that want to buy stocks, uh, the market's down. Now the market's, you know, on its way to recovery and people want to buy more and more stuff. I just got to make sure they have their goals in line. You know, they got money towards retirement, cash reserve, things like that. But there is a lot of opportunity out there uh, with the prices down and, and depressed, especially in, travel industry, you know, with the airline, the hotels, the um, cruise lines, uh, restaurants, unfortunately got hit hard. So there's a lot of opportunity there, but it will take time. It will take time for it to come back. But more importantly, I really want to make sure they're towards their, their financial goals of retirement, health education, things like that. And then if they want to have, you know, money, more speculative investing money, that's fine but I don't like the people to get money that they shouldn't be getting and taking that money and risking it when they really have other things to, to do that are more important, if that makes sense. Absolutely, it does, yes. And, and it sounds like from your uh, being a behavioralist at this point in terms of your advising career, uh, I take it that one of the things you're trying to do is just calm the waters a little bit for folks, let them get, try to keep folks from making rash decisions. Do I have that right? Yes, yes. So a lot of people refinancing. Um, a lot of people are maybe doing the forbearance or the other thing on their mortgage. He's got to make sure because I don't know if the government knows everything that's going on yet. There may still may be changes to come. But when they make these decisions, they probably need to talk to somebody about it and go through it just to make sure that when this comes down the line, they're prepared. But it, there's a lot out there, you know, small business owners about the PPP program. Um, there's a lot of resources out there. And, and what I'm trying to do is just put myself out there as a resource for people to talk to, just to talk through things before they implement it, because it's sometimes hard to unwind a decision that they make. Yeah, it's, it's a complicated uh, life for those of us now who aren't who don't specialize in, in financial planning. So I'm curious, Tom, with these government programs, whether it's uh, mortgage forbearance or the PP, you know, program, uh, PPP, I guess it is program. Are there are there potential uh, tax, interest, liabilities, those sort of things that we need to be aware of? Yes. So you really always should have a CPA or a tax person involved in that decision too. Um, another thing is, is like 401k, IRAs, um, you can tap into that now with, with less um, problems or less uh, issues. You, you may be able to spread out your tax liability over a few years now. You may be able to avoid the 10% premature penalty. These are all things that are there 
but people shouldn't use that or tap into the retirement unless they have to. And then when they're prepared to do that, they need to talk to somebody like myself and also um, their tax advisor to make sure they know what that impact will be next year when they pay their taxes because they haven't paid their taxes maybe for last year yet because the extension is till July 15th, which actually allows people to put more money, well, not more, allows people to save, have time to save more money for last year. So these are just different things you've got to make sure you're prepared for when it comes time to settle up. Yeah, it makes total sense. I'm curious, Tom, are there any um, pitfalls, potential risks that you have seen on a consistent basis that uh, because of the upset uh, in our lives in the financial markets that people have tended to make any kind of consistent mistakes that you, you've seen people tend to make? Yes. Um, so what you should always do is look at doing things that other people are not doing. So an example would be when the market was down in March, end of February, March, some people want to sell and get out. Well, it's probably not a good idea to sell at the low and then get back in when the market's back up. So that's sell low and buy high, not probably not a good idea. Sure. Uh, also, I had people call me and say, hey, what about a refinance? And I'm like, oh, great, maybe a lower interest rate. You may be able to skip a month, um, things like that. But then they go, well, what about if I take money out and put the money in the stock market? No, that's not a good idea. That's dangerous. You're playing with your equity in your home, which is a very valuable asset. And you should really probably never do that. Uh, yeah. That's something to uh, make sure you, you stay on course to pay that mortgage off. So, yeah, so, so that's a great idea. And um, a lot of people staying home right now, they're reading their estate plan. And they're like, wow, when did I make these decisions? <laughs> and they're like, maybe I should review them and get that updated. So that's actually happening a lot right now. Sure. People are calling and saying, hey, I'd like to update my estate plan because these decisions I made years and years ago don't don't affect me or, or don't apply to me anymore, or maybe things have changed. So uh, people are at home right now, other than watching their TV shows and Netflix or whatever it is, uh, Zoom video, they are uh, reading some documents and looking at that and saying, maybe this is not a good idea and I need to change it. Yeah, it makes, makes total sense. It, it sounds like you uh, pretty much are advising folks to stay calm, carry on, make reasonable decisions, not hasty decisions, and certainly seek professional advice when necessary. Yes, I think that's great. Always have somebody just to uh, bounce ideas off of, just like your tax person. Um, you know, you want to make sure you follow the rules, um, but you don't know all the uh, ins and outs. So it's always good to check things and thoroughly before you make big decisions. Sounds great. Hey, Tom, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time and, and uh, sharing your expertise with us today. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. You bet.